So I designed this little house here uh, in 1 to 144 and I am going to paint all these small tiny uh, bricks that I made here. So I'm just starting with a bottom layer or a background layer, whatever you call that. And I'm using this off-white, yellowish, brownish color. I don't really know what to call this color, but I'm using that for the background of these bricks itself. So I'm just putting that all over the little house. So when that is dry, I am using this uh, light brownish color and I'm just going in here and there and painting a few of the bricks just because it is going to give it a little um, look as if it's more organic when it's all done. So I'm just picking out a few bricks here and there and painting them. Then I am using a light brown again, picking out a few rocks here and there and just painting them. And I also did this with a red color. It's a darker red. Um, again, picking out a few spots here and there where I am just placing some of this color. When that all was dry, I went back in with this light brown color uh, from the background and I just painted a little over the red ones to tone it down a bit. Then I made a wash with uh, some water and a tiny bit of black uh, paint here and I am mixing that together and putting that all over the bricks here just to uh, make it a little darker and to make the, what's that called, the grout between uh, the bricks so they are actually coming a little more forth with this. I'm using a dark gray for the rocks here in front of the house and then later when that is dry I am dry brushing it with a lighter gray on top of that. I also painted the door and the door frame and the window frames on the outside and on the inside in this gray color uh, just to get it all to uh, kind of merge together into something cool. Something? Something? And don't forget the door frame on the inside of the house as well. Uh, you can see that my paint is kind of bleeding through the uh, filament here, but that is not a problem later. I will paint it in one color before I give it a um, wallpaper thing all over. So don't worry about that. So as you can see, I painted the inside of the house as well and I dry brushed the rocks on the front. Now I am ready with my wallpaper. I cut out uh, the piece that I need for the first room here and I'm just putting some of my glue on it and then I am transferring it into the room very carefully. I made a um, template, that's the word, I made a template for the wallpapers for the three rooms in this little house and I will link that in the info box below together with the um, link for the STL file for this little house. So you should be able to cut out the wallpapers for this little house a little easier than uh, I had it. Uh, I had to try it out and um, 
try it over and do it one more time and so before I had it all perfect uh, but with the template it will be a tiny bit easier for you to put the wallpaper in there. I made a template of a piece of paper for the floors before I place them on the right paper for the floors and uh, these templates you will find them again on the print sheet in the info box below so you can just take them and then cut out the floors in the right uh, in the right shape that's the name the right shape so I'm just drawing it onto the uh, floor piece here and cutting it out and then I'm just gonna glue it in place and I already did one floor here um, and again you will find the floors templates in the info box below So making the floors for the second floor, floors for the second floor, yeah, I think that's right. Uh, that is a bit easier, you just take it and uh, draw it onto the paper you want for the flooring and cut it out and glue it together. Remember to turn it the right side around so you don't have the flooring on the roof or the ceiling for the first floor. Did you get anything of that? I hope so. <laughs> Sorry about that. Then I am gluing in the second floor into the house, just making sure it is all dry before I continue on the inside of the house. I made a template for the outside of the house and now I am cutting out these pieces of some green grass um, paper, grass paper that I have and have had for a long time so I'm just going to use that for making the green outside. Then I also made the wallpapers on the top floor inside and now I have printed the roof for this little house and I'm just painting it in a bright red color uh, and letting that dry before I continue. When that is all dry, I am going to glue the roof onto the house just to make sure it sits where I want it before I am going to age it. When that is all dry, I mix a dark gray with some water and I'm just putting that on the roof and I found that my finger did this better than my pencil so I'm just using my finger for this but you can do it just the way you want to. And now the house itself is all done. Next week we will make some furnitures for the inside. So thank you for watching and happy crafting!